Are we on? I'm from the Plymouth Lurp. Episode 103 <coughs> of the Shower Party Podcast. I'm Liam Salmon, joined by Michael Dickens. It might seem like we're dressed uh, polar opposites. It might seem like I'm a dark brooding business type with this gray polo on. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I <laughs> think you are. And you got a stoner t-shirt on. Like a hip, and, like you just noticed weed like a couple weeks yeah. ago. And you're like, this is my personality now. <laughs> 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 this is a cool trippy shirt. That's I'm gonna my, get it. It is my personality though. <laughs> yeah. As, but the thing is, is I should have just kept on what I had at work because we were wearing the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> we would be looking identical right now. Do you think your personality is? I just discovered weed two weeks ago, and this is my personality. Yeah. <laughs> just consistently, <laughs> no matter how long you've been smoking, you're just like, sure. yeah, it was about two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, I talk cool. about the strains still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a sativa guy. I haven't really gotten to mm. the other. I'm more like a you know like ten milligrams. That'll do me. And I'll it's funny because it, it will. That will do me. <laughs> ten milligrams. Like sometimes it's it pushes me too far. Yeah. It's really a, it's it's a gamble. I'm playing Russian roulette. You need to like decrease because you're like a 25 year old that just discovered weed. Yeah. You need to be like a high school being like, yeah, I fucking rip gravity bongs every night. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start doing that. I've never done that. <laughs> I've you're never gonna, done a gravity You're going to turn our house into a frat house. Oh. You're just going to have like a mile high bong, just like ripping just, it, <laughs> standing on your toilet every night. <laughs> Lily, Lily, can you light it down at the bottom? I can't reach because her <laughs> bong is so damn cool. <laughs> I would do an upper decker, out, not like poop in upper decker, but I would rip a rip one out at the top of the toilet. You do know we're not going to, we're trying to move apartments. We have a balcony right now on the we second do. floor. You can get a bong that's tall enough where you can do a true upper decker oh. where it's literally two-story tall bong. Oh, my God, dude. You're a genius. Dude, high school is so cool. We can just rip bongs all day. Oh, God, to be a kid again. Yeah. I was just, I was in the car and I was just thinking, I just want to be a kid again. Yeah. I just want to be like 10 years old playing in the front yard. In backyard, both yards. I love yards. You can only you can only uh, play in the front yard because that way, if someone like in the NBA sees you playing cool ass basketball, they'll see you. The, like, scout, the scout will walk by. You're, hey kid, you want to be in the NBA? <laughs> <laughs> the scout will walk by in Uniontown, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> St- I was I was convinced Streetsboro, Ohio. Tony Hawk was gonna drive by <laughs> with me skateboarding in the front yard. He's like, gonna be like, dude. You're fucking sick on that thing. I know you can't land a kickflip yet, but that'll come. Mm-hmm. You're just a little bit younger. You got that you know? ollie down. Yeah. You can pop shove it like nobody's business. Oh, yeah. I would I would do the same thing with basketball. I, I would, you know, I'd play by myself. Just and you out there, a lighter-skinned Steph Curry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're as tall as Steph Curry, so you have a chance. That is pretty crazy. Yeah. It is crazy to think, like, I'm taller than Nate Robinson. Who won the dunk contest? I know three basketball players. He won. He was five eight and won a dunk contest. Is he in like an actual team? He was. Yeah. Really? What? White? No, of course not. <laughs> five eight. There's like that one Australian guy that was played for the Cavs that was like five eight, and he was just like a rowdy guy. Could he I dunk? liked him. He was just on the. I don't think he could dunk, but he had heart. <laughs> he was. <laughs> That's how you describe white NBA players. <laughs> he has so much heart, so much, especially an Australian. <laughs> yeah. He was their second mascot. Yeah. It's like when the who's the Cavs mascot? It's like a dog, isn't it? It's Why a pirate. It, it was. Yeah. And I they thought they have a dog too. Uh, maybe do they have a cavalier dog? Those are the dumbest dogs. Just like the <laughs> tiny little thing. <laughs> I don't know. Let me look this up. I know this ain't good. But <laughs> uh last time I went to a Cavs game, I'm pretty sure it was a dog. I don't think there's like a straight up mascot for the Cavs. I think they're just like whatever we want this year. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Sir Cece. Oh, Moondog. That was it. Moondog? Moondog. What the fuck is... It's Moondog. Oh, I've seen... Yeah, that's just like a thing to put someone in a costume to make a job. I think that was part of their, like, uh, yeah. requirements to be a, a, you know, business or something. They're like, someone has to be a fucking mascot out there. Yeah. The union's cracking down. We need someone in a fucking dog uniform right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, we The consensus we've gotten so far from all our surveys is the people love dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get rid of this pirate. <laughs> If you don't have a, it was straight from the NBA business portion. They're like, if you don't have a mascot, you have to have a dog and you have to put somebody in there. (laughs) That's how we're going to make money this year. Dogs. You were right. You were right, though. That was this guy. Yeah, it was a pirate. Cavaliers. I don't, how many mascots do they have? Because I think this guy's still around. I don't know. There's a bunch. Ohio can't decide on Browns. It used to be that little elf brownie guy. Then it became just a helmet, and they have a dog there, too, the dog pound. The dog pound. It's a scary dog, which isn't very inviting. <laughs> no doubt. Welcome to pound. Cleveland. Here's a dog that'll fight you. <laughs> Here's a pit bull. Yeah. 
<laughs> that actually might be absolutely that's fit for Cleveland. Just yeah. be like fucking pit bull. We're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna fight mascots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, do you think the rivals this the Cavs dog and this guy? Yeah, this he is a guy. he definitely beats his dogs. They're like, we can't have this guy. Well, he fights him with time. a sword. <laughs> yeah. a parrot would have been cool. A parrot, yeah, <laughs> like an actual parrot that just flies down around every and, game and it just, like talks shit. Yeah, the Cleveland or the Philadelphia Eagles, they have a bald eagle that comes and starts off every football game. Whoa, we have a parrot out there to say, <laughs> just, "I want a cracker." <laughs> Uh, it says the stats but, of the players like here comes LeBron James <laughs> if there's too many white guys on the team then they'll say Polly wanna <laughs> yeah <laughs> Polly- <laughs> too many crackers Polly wanted a cracker yeah now then, Polly wants something now else. we're losing <laughs> we need some <laughs> we need some diversity on this team well yeah what do you, what's new with you what's going on I don't know, I've just been thinking in terms of, because we're looking for a new place, so mm-hmm. I've just been thinking of, everywhere I go, I'm like, yeah, this would be a good bedroom size. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if there was an island in this gas station. I'm just looking at all <laughs> properties as if I could live there. Uh, you That's go to a park, like, hmm, pretty nice feng shui here. Yeah, go to the gas station bathroom, be like, are you guys going to fix that up and uh, before we move in, or is it like, as is? <laughs> Do uh, those graffitis on the wall, do they stay, or are they like... How about the hot dog rotation thing? I, I actually, like that. I, I like that. that. <laughs> I want that. I'll pay you 100 bucks extra a month if I can keep the hot dog roller. Uh, yeah. Taquitos as well. Oh, I went into a 7-Eleven and, like, the other day, and I saw one of those things. Yeah. And who who gets that? Do you, do you get those? I've never gotten a hot dog other than sheets from a gas station. Yeah. I would love... I personally... If every gas station, like my perfect hot dog would be one of those hot dogs that's on the rollers. Why? I would eat those because it just seems very tasty. <laughs> that would be my style, but I just haven't had the opportunity where I was like hungry, went into a 7-Eleven, just popped one of those bad boys. Yeah. I don't, I get scared when they're just amongst the common folk. That's just, what ma- just it invigorates me. Out. That's my adrenaline. Like, this is a blue collar <laughs> hot dog. Yes. <laughs> that's what, you go rock climbing and such, you yeah. go on hikes. I sure. go to a random gas station and eat hot dogs that I don't know who's eat touched a dog them. That's the dog that's the dog of the people. That's my skydiving. Yeah. It's just like, I don't know what fucking sickness oh. I'm about to get. Oh, <laughs> I'm just about to adrenaline dump right here. Hope there's no AIDS needles in here. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> just rolling the dice. Oh, some, people, some people actually gamble. I gamble with my health and hot dogs. Yeah, you do. I'm just having a good old time. That's why you crack, you know, you bust in them Vienna's, Vienna sausages. Vienna sausages, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that'd be your ideal if they oh, just dude. had a big old trough of Vienna sausages. That would be so, cool. <laughs> and it's just room temp. Nothing's keep them. You know, they don't have that like flambe thing. Yeah, the, just the napalm, whatever it is, heating it up like at a buffet. It's, it's just, just a cold bowl of Vienna sausages. Cold room temp bowl of <laughs> wet Vienna sausages. They kept all the chicken broth on it. Uh huh. So it's all slimy. There was, I saw on TikTok. Very cool. A guy was a very large man, maybe a little bit mentally disabled, but not obviously. You know, <laughs> he was hiding it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, "This is how I eat Vienna sausages." He opened the can, drink the juice. That's the most disgusting part. I don't drink the juice of the Vienna sausages. I you dip your bun in the juice. <laughs> <laughs> I wash mine. I wash my Vienna sausages. Oh, okay. So I get all because it's a little slimy the juice. Yeah. But he just straight up downed it. And then he ate the middle one, and he's like, all right, here we go. And he put hot sauce right in the middle, just like dousing him in hot sauce, and then didn't even swallow, just put every Vienna sausage in his mouth. I think he got some competition. Yeah, I'm not getting that far. <laughs> like, you could tell he's been eating Vienna sausages for every meal. Yeah, <laughs> like, forever. He has one of those no chins, where it's just like a big lump right here. It looks like he has goiter. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Like mumps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like he has a co- constant mump in his throat. Ooh, what is mumps? It's like when you're a uh, thyroid. It's something with like the, the thyroid. Ex- oh, yeah. The it all the gets ear. like lumpy in your throat. Lymph nodes, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swells up. Go- and Ooh. there's also there's mumps, which is like it's, you catch mumps. Yeah, mumps. And then there's a uh, goiter, which is like something you just contract from a symptom, as a symptom of something. Okay. Then there's also. <laughs> What? I know my throat illness. Yeah, <laughs> you do. Well, you you know you smoke, so yeah. I'm eventually gonna get one of them. Just <laughs> seeing which one it is. I am the blue collar gambler. Yeah, you are. I'm just like I'm gonna fucking smoke marble golds. 
I'm gonna eat hot dog gas stations. <laughs> the gas stations. Yeah, hot dog gas stations. <laughs> yeah. What's the uh what's the bone one? It starts with a G. <sighs> Gout. Oh yeah, that's like feet usually. Yeah, yeah, feet. You know your feet ones too because you're diabetic. Yeah, I only know a few of those. I don't have. Here's the thing about other diabetics: they're dumb, stupid, and lazy. Yep. Because they have other symptoms. I just have the diabetes. Just got it. Yeah. (laughs) I don't have neuropathy. I don't have my dick doesn't work. (laughs) (laughs) What do you mean? That's not due to the diabetes. (laughs) That's due to my own mind. That's due to my depression and. That's due to the, you know, this this maze of a mind that I have. <laughs> it's like a mouse in the middle of a maze when I try to get an erection. It has to find the cheese and it's get gotta, out for, you know. <laughs> it's got to find the imaginary blue chew. In yeah. There. <laughs> once that maze, get, once that mice, mouse gets out, I oh, can get a heart on like nobody's business. Maybe. I actually had my first ghost come a couple days What's ago. What's that mean? I don't know if you've ever had this. I'm going to describe it in detail. Please. And you chime in if you've ever experienced it. All right. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> Follow this along at home. So I was, you know, doing my business in the on the toilet, jerking off as I do. Of course. And I was about to come, and I got like a little bit of the sensation, and but I didn't come. But it got soft afterward as if I did come. Oh, yeah. So like, it was like I got a half come, but nothing came out. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I didn't like that. I no. It was awful. It's the it's the opposite of edging. Yeah, and I tried so, to go again, and I couldn't, because yeah. it was like, you know, you already came. You're mm-hmm. fine. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that is the worst, because, like, you get the excitement and the anticipation, and you're you're knocking yeah. on the door, but it, it's like edging, but then, like, you, get half you of just it. stop. Yeah. yeah. You get half a nut, nothing comes out, the best part. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I want to see my cum in a tissue. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, I never let it touch my body because that's disgusting. Of course. <laughs> I just come right in the oh. tissue and then I look at it like it's a, like I blew my nose. Or like when you wipe and you're like, <laughs> Yeah, a couple more wipes. Yep. <laughs> and then I squeeze it like a go-gurt tube, get the rest of the cum out, wipe again, and I, I piss. I think I flattened my penis by doing that. <laughs> by squeezing it. Like I literally, like, like <laughs> go-gurt uh-huh. coming out. And then I have to piss otherwise I get cum in my pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Such the plight of a man. <laughs> oh, it's so difficult being a man. Well, I, yeah, I, I had that. I think that just means, you know, slow it down there. No, no. Cause okay. I was about to come. I got half the come. Then I went for a tissue because I was like, all right, I'm going to grab oh. the tissue. And then I couldn't. It was like, oh, it's done. Something happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The wires got you short-circuited. I, like, I was playing too close to the sun. You know what I mean? I yeah. Was, you were I was like, I'm going to come. I'm gonna hold off for a second, grab the uh, tissue, then finish. You, you were mal prepared. Yeah. You should have. You should have had all your ducks in a row before. Yeah, I'm gonna jerk off with the utility belt. Yeah. <laughs> Full of tissues. <laughs> Just a fanny pack of Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like what we have for Ellie, but instead yeah, of the yeah. dog, the poop bags, you got you got your tissues. Yeah, that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. We should make that for guys. We go to let Ellie out. You you grab yours. Like we grab <laughs> yeah. ours. You grab yours, and you go in here. Yeah, I'm you, gonna go for have, a walk we'll too. get you a button too. Cummy. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah>. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Her says potty. Mine says cummy. Yeah. Do you have any weird cums recently? No, no weird cum. Ah. Well, you you were out in the camping on the, on the desert. Did you come out in the desert? I did not come out in the desert. Sad. No. You did yeah. have your dog in the tent with you. Exactly. Like, a little bit it would have been too. Um, you know. All right, doggy, go in the hot car for a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy and daddy have to fuck. <laughs> we almost did, actually. <laughs> we almost left her, like, with the with the AC on. Yeah, yeah. Then we were like, all right, let's blow up the air mattress. <laughs> and then you had to blow it up with your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we blow it up. All right, one hour later, we're already lightheaded. Yeah. All she the tries bl- to suck your dick, but she already has TMJ from blowing up the air mattress <laughs> yeah. with her mouth. <laughs> and she passes out, and I'm like, I know. I blew your mind. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I didn't test if we could <laughs> blow up this with my car battery. <laughs> and I blew your mind. I blew your fucking mind, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Did you see any life out there, like people? Was there anybody that came up and talked to you? Uh, so the first night, we stayed out on that lake bed. No. Joshua well, Tree? we saw, there was like people that kind of walked near us. They were like taking long walks around in this dried out lake bed north of Joshua Tree. And no, no one came over those. 
At first, I was like, I had like a panic attack the first night. Every time I go camping or like backpacking somewhere in the wilderness, yeah. I, I have like extreme anxiety thinking someone's going to come in my tent and murder me. Nice. And yeah, I hear like the, we had the rain cover over the tent and like flapping I heard it flapping wind. and it sounded like footsteps in the dirt. And okay. I was like, oh my gosh, I would just wake up in like a stone cold panic <laughs> and but I mean, everyone. The next morning, I saw people walk around. And it's just like kids and like yeah. young women. I'm like, I'm those fine. The, you gotta be scared. Most of those they're watching Slenderman videos online. That's true. You know they're getting deep into the lore of creepy pastas. Yeah, they might Blair be the ones Witch. killing you. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. But um, the second night, we were like right next to people. Oh, okay. It was, but I mean, kind of cat a corner a little bit. But the campsite next to ours was empty. So then it was like us, empty campsite, another campsite. Hmm. I climbed the rocks though and I could spy on everyone. Nice. Like, See if they're fucking. Yeah. Like, who's getting pussy in here? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Who doesn't have a dog with Who's them? taking a shit? <laughs> it is nice when you go camping and there's, it's always like a 50 ish year old dude that looks dirty, but he looks like he's always like that. Yeah. It's like it's not from camping, he just came dirty. <laughs> yep. And hope the river would clean him. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And then he finds out it's a desert. Yeah. No river. And we saw there was a guy like that at um at Walmart outside of Joshua Tree. Hell yeah. I <laughs> love those dudes. He, it sounded like he was going to sell us something. He just walks up. He's like, how are you guys doing today? And then he just pet our dog. He's like, oh, she's so cute. I love those dudes. Uh-huh. The ones that like just start talking to you for no reason. Yeah, they have yeah. like Crocs and then cargo shorts on. Yep. Loose he, cargo he shorts. He had work boots though. He was really? in jeans mm-hmm. and work boots and he was just like kind of t- it looked like he lived out there hell yeah just in the <laughs> he, he just walked straight through the walmart out the back door into the desert that is a funny guy that starts to try to live off the land but he's like oh fuck i picked joshua tree the desert <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna live for two weeks out here <laughs> oh shit yeah lily um she was like you know if i was homeless i would just come out here to like the because it's free to like live yeah. on that i'm like do you see how much shit we packed yeah, no. Wa- a- <laughs> there's no water, no food out there. <laughs> nothing. Unless you just open up a cactus. <laughs> uh, on the, yeah, on that lake bed, there's fucking nothing. Yeah, absolutely I'd, nothing. I would go to downtown. I would go to Hollywood Boulevard and show my talents and get money by tourists. It's true. I would prey on vacationing Asians. <laughs> just, uh, just do a little <laughs> dance for them, let them take a picture, and then they just give me two dollars. Uh huh. That's the. I would if I was anywhere homeless, I'd make the mecca to Los Angeles to be homeless here. <laughs> you make the trek. <laughs> The what the pilgrimage? Yeah, yeah. Mecca, Los Angeles is mecca for homeless dudes. It is, it so, is. They go here. Where the what the? Oh, I can I dance. Seen that, I've seen that Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I can method act my way into. I can shittily dance on Lucille Ball's star on yeah. the Hollywood <laughs> Walk of Fame, and I can get money for that. Yeah, <laughs> and then people just think they're cracked out, but they're actually very talented. <laughs> they're just extremely committed. <laughs> I'm method acting as a homeless <laughs> yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm preparing for a role. That's in Christian Bale's next role. <laughs> homeless dude in the streets of let's, L.A. Let's write a script for these for homeless Christian people. For Christian Bale? Uh, for homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> let's write a perfect character for a homeless person. I think you could film that for free. Or just meals uh, only. Yeah, that's true. You could feed them with soup kitchens, you oh. know? Like, that wouldn't be hard. You don't have to get craft services for, you know, like... On big Hollywood budget sets, you have to get a bunch of meals. Yeah, and you got to get catering and stuff. Yeah, yeah, then you you're just like, here's a fucking Campbell's soup. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Yeah. Oh, it's not a twi- it's not a pop cap. You have to kind of get a can opener. <laughs> we don't have those. Yeah, give them your leftovers too. <laughs> Bash it on the ground and lose half of it. <laughs> <laughs> cut yourself on it. <laughs> Trying to drink it. Yeah, you know, I cut myself on a beer can out there just a little bit. We're okay. <laughs> I, I was worried. I was you, like, you oh weren't no. being wilder. You weren't in one with wilderness. You were just cracking open a Bud Light and cut yourself yeah, on dude, it. I was the like least one with wilderness out there. Yeah, the most like wilderness thing I did was pee and climb those rocks. <laughs> pee and climb those rocks. The rest of the time was just sitting on the air mattress in the tent watching yeah. TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We sit there. We're like, we rolled out there. We're like, oh shit, we actually have service. We, have five <laughs> we just called everyone and talked to people <laughs> on the phone, <laughs> sitting out there. Yeah. yeah, you paid thirty bucks to call people in a different location. Yeah, it's so pretty out here. That's yeah. what you just said like, to everybody. Oh, look at this. Me. Look at <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, it's a good time though. You know, it is. It's. Uh, you trade 
your stress for a different kind of stress. You know, like here, I'm comfortable, right? I'm not wor- really worried about someone killing me. As worried about like someone breaking it out there, I'm like, you know, completely stressed about out well, about someone killing me. I think the only stress is making a fire first try in front of your girlfriend. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's just like because then she's gonna say, "Let me do it," and she's gonna get it because uh. you started it. <laughs> well, luckily, she brought a shit ton of like she made like fire starters. Yeah, and yeah. then we had a lighter. So <laughs> I got it first try. Nice every time. Hell yeah, money. I had a little bit of a panic attack last night as well. What happened? I was on my uh, nightly, like, 30 minutes of TikTok before I fall asleep. Yeah, that'll, you know. That alone will give you a panic attack. Just seeing how the meth heads are doing and the, (laughs) see how, what they're up to and the the dogs, see what the puppies are up to. And you went, fuck, I gotta fix this. No, they, they duped me. So, you know, those like ones you swipe and there's pictures. It was, it was like a Reddit thing and they were like, with facts, uh, like theories about mortality. Oh, and I scroll by and I was like reading all these and it like it hit me and it, like one was about death and it oh. just sent me into a panic and I was just like sitting there and then all of a sudden I had to shit so bad <laughs> I panic attacked myself into having a shit that was so gnarly I blew up I there was shit all underneath your bathroom oh god all underneath the seat it was so much shit it, I filled the bowl with diarrhea <laughs> I I existential crisis myself into like shitting you my d- you went into fight or flight you yeah TikTok made you go into fight or flight and I had to do both in that bathroom yeah it was brutal. <laughs> Just, just immediately sitting down and caking your back. Did you jerk off to fight, flight, and fornicate? No, no, I didn't do that. You didn't do that. <laughs> I was tempted just to be like, all right, let's let's cleanse let's the palate. Really empty the tanks here. Yeah, yeah. that would have helped. Instead, I just watched TikTok for five more hours to get the bad thoughts out. Oh. I was up till two a.m. just like watching baseball TikToks of <laughs> oh yeah, of like Angel Hernandez on all Dude, his bad calls. <laughs> that does. St- I I'll. I have like existential crises at night where yeah, yeah you just think about mortality of life. If I see anything that just triggers me, I'm like, oh, fuck, I gotta go shit. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I want to, I don't want to die, and I have to shit so bad. <laughs> Dude, imagine, imagine when you die. Sorry, I don't want to make you shit right now, but the fucking shit you have. Oh no! Oh my god! And the <laughs> nurse that has to clean that up. Oh no! Oh my god! It's gonna be as because I'm gonna be like panicked when I die. Yeah. So it's gonna be like <laughs> the diarrhea that I gave your toilet last night. It's gonna blow your fucking your <sighs> sticky socks off. What it's are the? Yeah. I'm gonna have like underwear of shit. It's like it's gonna go around the front. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna go all over my dick and balls. Yeah, She's they- gonna have to clean my soft, old, dead dick and balls from all my shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I I went on. There's bush too because I haven't shaved because I'm like seventy. Oh, so of course, it's just like yeah. all shit in, ends in your bush. Oh, I I went on like this Reddit tear of these a little while back when I had Reddit. It, it was like these. I like how you say it as if there's like parental controls on your phone. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> back when I was allowed there. When I was allowed to, I it was these like scary stories, and I sat there reading them. For like I don't know four hours. Yeah, creepy. Uh, what is it? It was like creepy pasta. Yeah. No, there's a name for it. No sleep. Yeah. 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 It was no sleep. Yeah. I don't know why I did Fucks that. You up. Yeah. I was in Pittsburgh in a hotel, <laughs> just alone with my friend. And I was like, let's 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 read some stories. Yeah, he's asleep now. It's time to get scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to freak out and not wake oh him up because you don't want to be an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. The the worst though is like when you have those moments and now like that we live with our girlfriend yeah it's it's tough to be like I'm scared yeah I don't want I'm, I'm so just scared. wake her up I let I let her sleep and I just shit my brains out <laughs> and just freaked out for the next five hours <laughs> what did you see well, I want to what's the specific thing oh it was like a theory that like when you die I forget what it's called but your consciousness is eternal and you just kind of float around forever so ghost. But no, it's like purgatory. It's like everywhere. Like uh, your, like your consciousness just travels through space alone. And you don't have any control over it. Yeah. It's just like it's just alone. So you're out there just like in the dark, Whoa. just being like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like you have a consciousness, but it's you don't have any control of anything. No, you don't have any like feelings or sensations. It's just, yeah, uh, and you. I don't know. I want to live forever, but I want to live forever as me. Yeah. <laughs> like in this body. Yeah. <laughs> I want to I want to be able to move around. I don't want to be free flowing. Free, free 
You're very connected to your body. So am I. Yeah, and that's why I had to shit so bad because I'm so connected to it. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to leave this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing shit retention yeah. just so I can like maybe c- compound all the nutrients in my body, <laughs> live forever. I think that uh, I think the shit's toxic. No, it's we use this fertilizer. So how could it be so toxic? <laughs> Isn't there sayings that's like, um, you know, if you there's just a bunch of shit in one place, yeah, like it'll it'll kill whatever it's around. But you spread that shit out. So I have to like money's like poop. If you leave it in one place, it just boils. goes to shit. Yeah, if you spread it out, it grows. So you're saying I have to wipe my diarrhea all over my body, <laughs> <laughs> so my whole body's cool. No, you gotta <laughs> spread it around your environment. Just rub <laughs> it on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what meth heads they, resort to. And like schizophrenic, and they go, Yeah. <laughs> like they, when they get evicted and all that, they're like, Fuck, I have so much shit in me. I have to get it everywhere so everything is good. Yeah. Not just me is bad. <laughs> oh my. I have to wipe shit all over this cart kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think maybe that was an attempt to get rid of all the toxicity in you. Your body was like. I want to hold on to me. We're going to live forever. I need forever. to let go of all this shit, shit that's right inside now. me. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, what, what would you believe? What do you believe happens after death? Uh, I don't die. You okay. I live forever. And then the world never ends. It just like, the sun never explodes. None of that shit happens. Yeah. Just me. Because even if I die, I still don't want the... I either want the world to end right when I die or never end at all. <laughs> Why is that? Because that way, like, everyone's dead. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. You don't and want anybody like, to carry on. I'm not missing anything. Yeah. But if... You got FOMO. If it's another bad. billion years, I'm missing all those billions of years, and then the world ends, what was it for anyway? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I want it to end right now or never. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's fair. I can get behind... Oh, no. When you really think about... Uh, what's the... Reincarnation? Yeah. But it's just like yourself. You just kind of live the same life over and over again and forget. I wouldn't mind that. That sounds pretty... Like if I just woke up as a baby again. Yeah. And I didn't know. But like, don't know. I'm just a baby again. That would be fine. Cause it, I mean, it's just so hard. I, I don't think anybody's able to fathom just like consciousness ending. Like yeah. How, like you'd think it would come back at some point. I hope I don't so. Know. I'm going to wake up as a president. That's impressive. <laughs> You're just born into it. That'd be nice being born into a rich family. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to kill myself now. So hopefully <laughs> I'm going to keep on killing myself until I roll the dice enough that I end up in like an oil mm-hmm. trust fund family. Maybe that's what these depressed people are doing. Yeah. <laughs> just just like, like, I want to see if I can be rich in this next life. Yeah. I think I could be a Rockefeller if I try hard enough. <laughs> if I kill myself a hundred times, one of those times has to be Rockefeller. There's so fucking many of them. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. I'll settle for the Walton family. Who gives a shit? I'll be a Walmart heir. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Anderson Cooper, he's a, he's not a Rockefeller, right? He's going to be the last one in he's his like, chain. <laughs> I, thought, I think he's a Carnegie or something. Yeah, he's a one of those bad boys. Yeah. He's one of them. Damn, dude. Yeah. Imagine. So many of those dudes that just like... 200 years ago, someone made the right choice. And then they made a logging company in the right city, and, and then they all got rich forever. Yeah. That's so nice. Anderson Cooper didn't have to do anything, probably. Mm-hmm. But he decided to be a, a yeah. reporter. <laughs> that would, is weird. I would decide to do coke and hookers for the rest <laughs> of my life. I wouldn't decide to be, oh, I'm going to go on CNN and tell facts <laughs> and stories. Facts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go spew fake news yeah. <laughs> as a hobby because <laughs> I don't need this money. <laughs> That is crazy. That is crazy. I, I, the, the older I get, you know, as I age throughout my years, I I don't really care about legacy. That's know? the only thing I care about. Because if I die, that means I live on if there is a legacy. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But you don't get to see it. Well, I want kids, right? But yeah. I don't want to give them a bunch of money. Because then I don't want them to be assholes. I want them yeah. to struggle. I want them to go to public school. I'm going to downgrade to a trailer park. It's going to be nice. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to think we're going to eat Vienna sausages for every meal. They're going to be fat as shit. God, dude, your, <laughs> your dream life is <laughs> just like my literal, someone's nightmare. My literal dream life is to own three trailers right next to each other. So I have a bedroom in one, a kitchen in the other, and a living room in the next. I have a different trailer for every room <laughs> in my house. I'm smoking cigarettes all day long. 
<laughs> I'm eating mac and cheese, Vienna sausages, and chicken nuggets all day. <laughs> that is, that is my dream nightmare life. life right there. That is living life to the fullest. <laughs> you have no worries. Your trailers are paid off. You just have to pay the lot rent. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you really thought about this. That's that's like a a five you know five year old kid's dream right there. He went camping once at a trailer. He's like, yeah. oh, this was so fun. I want I want three of these. Well, like rich people do it now with those fucking shipping containers. They just put four trailers together. That's, that's true. I just want them disconnected. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> I want a shipping container house, but they have oh, they're on cinder blocks. Uh, like, know? can there be a hallway? Is there gonna be a hallway? Yeah, they're double wide. Okay. <laughs> But like to oh, connect to the three, I don't or need that. you walk outside. It would be nice a tunnel to each one, because I don't want to. I don't want a walkway like a porch, just like a little tunnel to each of my trailers. You don't want to see the sun ever again. Yeah, I want to be a mole man. Just in get a trailer bunker, park. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even need a trailer. Just like dig underground. I just bury a trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna bury my double wide six yeah, feet yeah, underground. <laughs> then you die in there, and then you're happy. I would be happy with that actually. Yeah. You'd have like the biggest grave site ever. Yeah. No books down there, just all movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just watch, like, what is it? There's that list of 100 books you have to read before you die or something. You just watch the movie yeah. versions of them? Movie versions. <laughs> all right, let's see. You write your own Mice list. And like, <laughs> Catching Fire. Grown Hunger up, Games. Grown Ups, Grown Ups 2, uh, Waterboy, <laughs> Happy Madison. <laughs> just all Adam Sandler movies. All 50 of his movies, then we'll fill in the rest with whatever we want. <laughs> Sick. What's your dream life? Anything close to mine? I bet it's not as sick. I bet it's not as attainable <laughs> as mine. <laughs> it's definitely not as attainable. Oh, gosh. Probably probably somewhere in a mountain right. town. What's your dream attainable life? Like, you could attain it right now. And probably go live up in the mountains. Up okay. there. Just get, like, a... Like, but you need money. Up. You have to have, have a job still. I can have a job I and would, be in three trailers. That's true. That's very true. I would... I mean, I could... I would. I want to live in a small town again, dude. Oh yeah. I just want to have a community, <laughs> just like old people just that you kind of hate, but you're they're PTA. endearing. Yeah, PTA. You know, you just city hall show, meetings. Yeah, <laughs> you show up, and it's like it's annoying, but also kind of sweet. You help out yeah. a neighbor. You start a newsletter for your small town. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you're losing 500 bucks a month because you're printing them yourself. Basically. And, no, and you charge nothing <laughs> for it. I don't feel like I can make a difference globally. So I just want to have a small little. You can you can go to a small town with like 200 people and start running for mayor. Yeah. They'll never know what to hit them. You start <laughs> hitting them with Google ads. <laughs> Dang, of dude. Like targeted Google ads to that 200 person town. Just being like, vote for me for fucking mayor. <laughs> That's actually pretty smart. Yeah, you can start running for mayor at 18 years old. You could go right now to a small town in, I don't know, like Virginia, and like population 500 people, and just and be like, for mayor. fucking vote for me. This guy's old as shit. Here's a bunch of internet ads. I'm put $500, and all of you guys are only seeing my ads now on Google. <laughs> Wow. And, and Facebook and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Facebook, Facebook. Has, yeah. Facebook in those small people. towns. Oh. oh my god, I'd wipe I'd wipe the floor. You can literally learn all of their names like a teacher before the election even happens because there's only like 300 people there. Yeah. You know? I mean, it sounds like you kind of... No, you don't want something similar. I, I want to be say. king of the trailer park. Yeah, exactly. I just want to... I want to have three trailers and they all bow down because I have three of them. <laughs> Three double wides. Yeah. That's basically a six tuple wide. <laughs> six tuple wide. I have a six wide trailer. I I I used to go camping with my family and there was this older guy there and we called him the mayor. Nice. Yeah, he That's so sick. It was so cool. Just being the mayor of like a KOA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so fun. Was, I was like, This this is the man, Ken. Like there is like management of the tr the campground, but everyone just goes to him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ken, uh, what can we do this? No, actually, you can't. Uh, no. <laughs> he has no authority whatsoever. <laughs> no. But <laughs> just whatever he feels. Yeah. You know? No, actually, you can't fish on Tuesdays. Oh. <laughs> and he's just out there fishing alone. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I tricked all of them. I'm the mayor of this fucking KOA. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, that'd be the life. I you, just you, you could know. run a Motel Six. <sighs> Just move into a Motel 6 and never leave. Every lot lizard that comes in there is just knows your name. You give them donuts because, you know, they're low on blood sugar from sucking <laughs> dick all day. You have a, just a gang of lot lizards around you. Yeah, yeah. Man, just... Uh, I wish that, I would have sold drugs in high school or something. This would have been a fun life. Uh, this yeah. is a dirtball life. <laughs> I mean, you'd be, probably be making more of a difference. 
<laughs> yeah, more people, you know. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm the man of these parts. Yeah. I don't know if you want to associate with those type of people, but... Dealing drugs now is kind of like having a, um, you know, death note when you, like, write a name in the journal and they die. Oh, you yeah. You can just fentanyl anybody, oh. like a death note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a fun thought. That is. <laughs> just drug dealers going around killing their enemies. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's probably what they do. That's what the cartel does. Uh, they just hire people to shoot them. It's em. the U.S. government. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. The U.S. government gets their hands on that heroin and cocaine, and they're just like, let's sprinkle a little fentanyl in there. <laughs> let's see what happens when we put this in the general population. Crack isn't doing its job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's crazy, the drugs and shit now. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't... S- some of these people yeah. on the street? <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Oh, we could so sad. You could be the governor of the of the largest tent city in Los Angeles if you tried hard <laughs> enough. I can just walk in there and like claim it. You could be the Lorax of homeless people. Yeah. <laughs> I speak for the homeless. <laughs> I speak for the homeless. I speak for the trees. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I was thinking about. I think Horton hears a who is correct. I think they got. I think that's like an accurate representation of the universe. Yeah. How, like, I think we're... Just a tiny little orange guy protects the trees and then we cut him down. Is he the protector of trees or these trees? That's Lorax. Horton hears a who. Oh, shit. You're right. That's yeah. the elephant. <laughs> the, elephant the elephant that blows on the dandelion. <laughs> it, yeah, there's like a little little, uh, little speck that comes up. I think we're just a yeah. little speck floating around and there's like some elephants out there or something. There's something bigger. That it's, I mean, that's why there's heaven and hell, dude. He- heaven is going up a plane, hell is going down a plane, getting smaller. Heaven's going, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I see. You know, like, like it's a if we're an atom, yeah, if you get bigger, you're like an element, you know, okay. So, like, if you die and you go to heaven, you go up. Oh. If you die and you're a bad boy, you bigger, you go down a little level. Oh, okay. microscopic. <laughs> gotcha. So, so all my the... penis was such a bad boy in these past <laughs> lives. <laughs> <laughs> we're made up of just a bunch of sinners and shit. Yeah. That's why we're born sinners. There you go. Christianity had it right, dude. Yeah, partially. If you had a little bit of science and and making up <laughs> yeah. bullshit in there, <laughs> you had a little bit of fantasy in there. Yeah, dude. I'm fucking Hitler's inside me right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hitler, just, Hitler went down like three levels. Not that bad, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's not somebody. He's cellular. You know, yeah, he's, he's, he's got, there's seven levels because Dante's Inferno, right? Of seven course. levels of hell, so you have seven more levels to go down. I think if you go to the very end, you're That's done. Like subatomic. Yeah, maybe there's only one level above us. Maybe we're so good in past lives. There's only one level left to go. You think? What if there's like a shit ton more? What if there's like, like eight more? It's gonna suck at this point. It's probably gonna be hard, pretty hard to get into the next one. <laughs> I, bet, I, I mean, I killed a lot of insects and animals as a kid. Oh fuck! I don't think I'm gonna get it, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going tough, down a level. Dude. God damn! Fuck! I'm gonna be a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> then you're gonna get stepped on. But you would have lived a worthy cricket life, and yeah. you would you would move back up. But would you have learned <laughs> your lesson? Co- no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm just constantly going back, <laughs> back and, and forth. Just I'm an ant, human, cricket, <laughs> human. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's reincarnation. We're being brought back. <laughs> So what's so what would heaven look like from here from this point of view? What would be bigger than this? Planet? planet. You become a planet? <laughs> God, that ball. would fucking suck. That would suck, dude. <laughs> oh, just something living on you. Maybe Talk about not monotony. Even. Just being like Pluto, where you're just out there. Yeah, alone. Mm. You're so far from everybody. You can't even get closer to anybody. You just have to wait for things to hit you. <laughs> just to feel something <laughs> yeah. being a planet is just being like an emo guy you're yeah. just like I just want to feel fucking just something feel, just I'm just stuck it, it's yeah you're just like stuck in your day to day bullshit yeah. spinning around they're the cutting same themselves the yeah. graders just like, fuck. oh fuck <laughs> that's what an earthquake is just like I'm, I'm gonna fucking feel something <laughs> <laughs> yeah storm is like they're, it's like a mood swing yeah you get all depressed and sad it's God's tears. I think we're just, we're recreating Christianity with a lot more fun stuff with this one. It is a lot more fun. <laughs> yeah. Mixed with like Greek mythology becoming a planet and shit. <laughs> we've, well, we've combined all religions into one. Just for, <laughs> It's a fun one. <laughs> well, dude, so like planet would suck, but galaxy would be even worse. Yeah. Whew. 
Is there something inside you? You're just like a woman you're all just the time. Like laying there. <laughs> There's a black hole in you. That's it's your just asshole. Just a blob. Actually, that's your mouth. That's where you eat, you eat everything. You, go, oh, you just become a big fat sack of shit. <laughs> Uh, oh, I went to the Huntington Garden yesterday. Yes. And there's like an a- there's like a Chinese garden and a Japanese garden, and there's Asian tourists there. Like the, I can you can tell they don't live in America because the kids also speak Chinese. <laughs> yeah. And like they haven't been acclimated at all, and they're like ten, you know. So they're yeah. obviously visiting from Asia. Yeah. And then why would you want to go to the Huntington Gardens to go to the Chinese Garden? Where you can just see bonsai trees you can see at home. Yeah, that is weird. Like, I wouldn't go to a forest. Like, if I was going to Asia, I wouldn't go to an American museum. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Or, like, a McDonald's. Yeah, like a, I would I go mean, McDonald's. Yeah. I want to see how those see bad boys run over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't see the natural, like, oh, there's a redwood from the uh, United <laughs> States that they flew over. Yeah. You know? Because that I don't know. Why would you take a picture of a bonsai you can take at home? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, that's their backyard. I don't know. Unless they're gaining evidence Nothing. of how we're appropriating every part of their culture. That's true. Like, look at these motherfuckers. They don't even trim and prim them properly. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how to do. It. Um. Yeah. No. I don't. I don't. I think that's weird too. I. Was it nice though? Like it was pretty. Yeah, it was a garden. Yeah. Just. I felt like I was like a. Like I was in a midi like a. Handmaid's Tale uh-huh. type of the deal. Like, you're just walking around the field. That's a lady's dream. Yeah. Just walk around a field. Literally, every girl was wearing dresses and sundresses. Just, like, walking around fields and gardens, just waiting for their lover. Yep. They were just waiting for a guy on a horse to come by with long hair and a white button-up. But is a guy in steal fucking them away. black sweats and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> too tight of a shirt. Yeah. Comes over with the phone, like, mm, He's got a Roy How many more pictures? <laughs> yeah. It's either there's two dudes that would like talk to a girl there. I think it's either like stoner dudes that are tripping on acid out there. You're like, help me. <laughs> okay, that would be fun. Yeah, it would be a that little bit. That would be pretty fun. Or it's just roided out dudes being like, I'm gonna fucking slay some pussy out here in the fields. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I mean, there's also like guys out there who are dating like girl, like they go with their girlfriends like you. Yeah. And they're just like, Ugh. it's like going to the mall. Yeah, they're shop, but they're not like, actually buying. It. There's no bench. Uh, are there benches? Could you there say are. It? There's a lot of like cafes and shit. It's oh. it's a girl's dream. It is. The Huntington Garden is a girl's dream. They just get to walk around flowers all day, and then they go to a cafe and get some <laughs> coffee or boba tea. <laughs> do they do anything fun? No, <laughs> girls do fun stuff like play games. <laughs> <laughs> girls hate. Okay, they like board games and shit like that. Like games where there's like you. Not fun games. Yeah. Like, they like playing uh, code names, which is fine for a little bit. It's a fun game. It's fun for a little bit, but you can't play that forever. No. You gotta diversify. I don't know. They Like, I love to just play a game. Yeah. Like a sport. Get out there. Oh, yeah, that too. Like outdoors? Yeah, outdoors yeah. and throw a ball. <laughs> as soon as I throw, I go to a dog park and throw a tennis ball, and I get yelled at. <laughs> You're throwing like, it too hard. Like, stop. <laughs> I'm like, what? It's, I can't have fun, too? Always can't have fun anymore? Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> I mean, I admire that, though. I wish I could just sit and just watch life happen and be yeah. like, this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Just this watching a bumblebee on a flower while drinking my taro bubble tea. Uh-huh. This is the no. life. Hmm. What did... Oh, I can God. handle it for an hour. It's nice for an hour. Yeah. It's and nice then you're and like, I'm done. Yeah. I want to go do something else. I want to I wanna stimulate my fucking brain a bit. Yeah. I, uh, cause I mean, it's, it is admirable and uh, I like art museums for that reason. Cause you can get in and out of art museum about an hour mm-hmm. and they're usually pretty cheap. So I like to look around, get out of there. <laughs> yeah. I do that shit though. <clears throat> Doing that shit, like going to a museum or walking around a garden or going to the mall that will make you more tired than doing any physical activity ever will. Yeah. I get like my fucking back hurts. My feet hurt, my neck hurt. I need to sit like every five minutes. I'm like, God, yeah. I need, oh my God, dude, I get a headache. I literally feel ill after going. I'm like, dude, this was, I, I feel like I just ran a half marathon. Yeah. <laughs> it wipes you. You just got to go home after one of those and just like watch TikTok until you get a panic attack. Yeah, and then take a fat shit <laughs> in your friend's yeah. bathroom. It's just an instant restart. You just control, delete, yeah. restart with updates. <laughs> it's like fucking, I walked around for oh an hour. It's time to watch TikTok. Yep. Shit my brains out in a, a frenzy. 
And that way I can reset. Yeah, <laughs> what do you think? I think it's just boredom. I think, like, that feeling of just walking around, it's just like, yeah. oh, my God, I'm so bored. It's just your brain being like, retreat, retreat, yeah. abort, get out of here. I, I don't know why I thought of this, but my, my I thought of my grandma. I was thinking of my grandma the other day, my, my oma. Oma? Right. Well, I was thinking about how, like, when you're a kid and – like you don't remember really who you spent your time with and like what they kind of instilled in you. Like they say zero through seven is kind of like this peak developmental time. Yeah. Right. And I was around my grandma, my Oma a lot during that time. Cause my parents worked and she was like this fucking neurotic, crazy German lady. And I, where was she at from the years of 19, 19- 35 <laughs> <laughs> she actually she got put in a camp i think it was a russian one russian camp oh, maybe yeah. Ger- it might have been german but she watched her grandparents starve to death she fled but was she jewish no but she did what? get put in a camp i don't know i don't know she was a bad german i guess so <laughs> she wasn't on the side was she holding in frank or something i think she kind of looked jewish <laughs> <laughs> yeah you kind of look like it maybe I mean, they were maybe i like my parents don't tell me a lot about my about their history so maybe they were jewish and they lied and then came yeah. over. But so I spent a lot of time with her and I don't remember like anything she told me, anything she taught me, but I bet you there's so much underlying shit yeah. in me. Like she probably taught you how to wipe your ass. Yeah. And she also probably taught me how to be fucking scared and nervous yeah, and neurotic yeah. and not trust anything or anybody. And just, She chewed you up. Yeah. She <laughs> chewed me up pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, we lied to this boy about being Christian for all these years. <laughs> it's time to make him a little bit of a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make him neurotic. It's pretty. It's crazy though. Like how you don't know. Yeah. And you have no control over that. My parents just handed me to this. She put me in a car with her. Like she went to drive. She took me somewhere. And as she's pulling out of the street onto the main road, she's like, she didn't have the best eyesight. She had macular degeneration. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like four years old, and she goes. Uh, she goes, Michael, is anybody coming? <laughs> and she fucking crashes the car because I said, yeah. I was like, yeah. No, I mean, I said, no. I was like, you're fine. And she crashed the car. You know, meanwhile, she didn't trust the fucking doctor enough to go and get her head checked. And she died of a brain tumor. But she trusted a four-year-old yeah. to give her driving directions. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> she, if you would have told her, like, uh, I think you need chemo and you set it up, she would probably have trusted <laughs> she you. She probably would have. like, oh, this kid's on to something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Like, I, I was, like, my parents also worked, so I was raised a little bit by my grandma who lived with us, and she was, just, like, from the Great Depression. So we had, like, so much food. That explains that's why so much. I, that's why I keep, like, canned foods, and that's why I eat the way I eat. Just, yeah. like, just a Great Depression era ways of life is what I do. <laughs> I was like, why do I have so much shame? <laughs> Meanwhile, I get yelled at for eating the creams out of the Oreo yeah. cookies. <laughs> I have to hide them behind my back. <laughs> I had the bowl of just the cookie behind my back, and she's like, what is that? <laughs> we good? Yeah, hey, we're all good to go. All right. God, dude, I've, so, I've been crying this whole episode. My eyes been watering. A little baby. Yeah. I didn't even bully you once this episode. I know. I made fun of your shirt. That was it. I called you a high school stoner. I know. What else can That's I make okay. fun of you for? <laughs> Anything and everything. Your, uh, I saw your razor out. Did you even shave, dude? <laughs> I see the patchiness. <laughs> what, did you miss a few spots? All right. This has been episode 103 of Shower Party. Hey, tell a friend how much fun you had. Uh, we had funny parts in the beginning, straight funny, and then we talked about... Uh, uh, death. R- death and religion. We made that kind uh, of funny. Uh, it was kind of funny in there. Yeah. We had some interludes of funny, uh, and then at the end... It wasn't very funny. I'm going to probably cut some of that out. It was fun. It was fun. You know, life, it can't all be funny. I don't like divulging a lot of information. Nah. It can't all be funny. You got to, you know, got to have ebbs and flows, right? Yeah, and they're going to look up, uh, when we apply for our apartment, they're going to look up this podcast and be like, what the, we can't have those guys recording in our apartment like this? (laughs) It's better than, uh, well, especially with you starting off saying I'm a fucking druggie. Yeah. (laughs) Just ripping two-story bongs. (laughs) Tune in next week and tell a friend. Have fun.